This is Never Give Up, also known as Tesru or Dave, a YouTuber from Sweden with more than 200,000 subscribers in his main channel. In 2018, he uploaded the first video on his channel, which became really successful because of its nature of someone talking about how unfair life is for him just because of his ugly appearance. The video seems really sad and you gain empathy for him the more you watch it mixed with the fact that he's drunk while he talks, which you can see in the following clip. So first of all, this is my microphone. It's quite broken and uh, I'm, I've been drinking a lot of this right now, so I'm sort of drunk and I'm feeling really down. As you see here, Dave drinks and he also mentions later on the video how he had sex with his partner while being drunk, so it's pretty clear he drinks. Most of Dave's content consists of vlogs about his life. He claims to suffer from health problems which impact his life to the point he can't work. I won't include any clips of him talking about them because he has dedicated a whole video just to talk about these issues, but I will include a link in the description. In the next two clips, it's clear how Julian and Destro drink all the time. The first one is from the video that they talk about their 2023, and the second is a home tour of their apartment. That's when my was birthday. That? that was your birthday? That's my birthday. Ah. Yeah, I remember that we celebrated with a cute little princess cake and champagne. It was quite a lovely celebration, just, just the two of us. It was. I had a drink. <laughs> That's that's where we keep our drinks. Our wine, indeed. Indeed. So not only they admit that they drink, they literally show photos of champagne and hard liquor, which makes it really funny how this person can go whine about how poor his condition and life is, and then the next day show us pictures of something that is known to cause a lot of health problems. In another clip, you also see him vaping with Julie on a stream. Can you open it? Which one? This one? Yes. Oh, okay. She gave a reason. It Not was really. some. I mean, so they said that they didn't have all our names, but yeah. Like they needed the names had to be exactly specific, but uh, they didn't need to be that last time we went there. So it is a bit strange. <laughs> that was a hard, a, 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 a hard one. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Sweden and Argentina. Are you gonna share some wedding clips? Uh, eventually, yeah. They might pop up in uh, the uh, what's it called? On the channel. Once again, he also has mentioned trouble breathing. Even if he doesn't vape, his wife does, which not only makes her health worse, but also his significantly. Also to mention one time, Dave's lips got so dry that he started bleeding till he passed out, which is often caused by nicotine in vapes or cigarettes. While Julie was there, in one of the streams they did together, Julie denies that they are actually poor and they are struggling while Dave insists that that's the case. How can Julie be there for 6 months and say publicly on stream that they don't have any financial difficulties while Dave claims they do and insists as well? I was gonna actually add like a donation, what's it called, like a donation meter because we're struggling with food and stuff right now. That is not true. I mean, we do. No. No. I mean, we're surviving, but it's getting kind of tough. I mean, the thing is, uh, I mean, yes, the money is tight, but we are pretty fine. We're surviving, but I still plan on putting in like a donation bar. It makes the whole situation really sketchy to believe when Dave complains all the time about his poor financial condition while he has a computer which the overall cost is unknown except the GPU which could cost depending on the time he purchased it more than 700 bucks, a Steam Deck worth 500 bucks 
A 70 inches TV with an average price of such being television being more than 500 bucks, a PlayStation 5 that could cost 500 bucks, alcoholic drinks such as wine, and uh, even a new scooter for his partner that costs over 400 bucks. Most will argue his computer is a tool for him to make money, but how many gaming devices does he need when he doesn't even make gaming videos that often and he can play most of the games he plays in the videos and streams in a computer? How can he have money to spend on alcohol and a scooter for his wife when it's known that she will leave because of her visa expiration so she won't even be able to use it when she's not there? How can David get to find out why he has all these issues and have no idea what makes them worse if it isn't to manipulate his audience to feel bad and result to more donations for him to make a living unemployed with a wife to feed? Even if his claims are true and he really has all these issues, how can he still do all these things that destroy his health without realizing it? It makes no sense for him to say all these things about his health and then show an extremely healthy lifestyle with his wife. Destro announced recently that he has a gaming channel in which he uploads gaming videos separately from his main channel. You can find the link of the channel in the announcement video's description which proves that the channel is really his. It isn't really popular but it has a lot of videos. Although with uh, the first glance no suspicious thing can be seen, if you scroll back a few years ago you can see there are videos with anti-Semitic jokes that are highly racist and I have to remove most of the details in the screenshots cause a video might get taken down. Dave showed his ex-girlfriend Lullaby for the first time when she arrived in Sweden almost four years ago. However, Lullaby and Destro are not together anymore. In the following clip, you can see Julie saying how Lullaby should give the laptop back that Destro gave to her, although David has said to Lullaby it's okay to keep it, and as you can see in the following screenshots, Lullaby asks David if he wants the laptop back, but Dave replies it's okay for her to keep it. No, I think she should return the laptop to me. That's all I want. Yes, I want my laptop back. <laughs> yeah. Why does Julie say something like that to a live stream, making Lullaby look like a thief to a bunch of incels? It raises a lot of questions. Does Tess rely to Julie about his past relationship? Does Julie and Dave want extra cash so they ask Lullaby to give something back although he said it's okay to keep it? Also to mention, Destro never gave Lullaby most of the stuff back when she left from Sweden. This claim can be proven with those screenshots of Dave promising to Lullaby he'll return her stuff back and most importantly her piano. But did Dave really give anything back? In the following clip you can see David playing Lullaby's piano and the video was recorded by Julie almost a year ago after the breakup. So did Dave actually return her stuff? I highly doubt it, since we can see that dear Dave is clearly either lying about his condition or he just doesn't care enough about his health just to receive donations. In this stream, Dash accuses Lullaby of being a liar and a schizophrenic for discussing her mistreatment and threatening to dox her to an audience of over 100 viewers. Some of his viewers are horrified and beg him to stop talking about her, while others become enraged and threatened to find her and harm her. Conf confront her about it maybe? I tried but she blocked me. <laughs> I tried to confront her about it and I told her like if you want we can like honestly I would be fine with her just if she contacted me and wanted to publicly talk about it together I would I, I would but she always again she has schizophrenia she, enter she enters this state in her mind where Everything is everyone else's fault and I am perfect. It's never my fault. What do you do at that time? What, what, what can I do? He also reads a private email Lullaby sent to his mother begging her for help. Keep in mind Lullaby lived with his mother for over three years and was close friends with her. How can Never Give Up still be on YouTube if he has made racist jokes in the past? How can no one of his supporters see that he drinks and vapes and no one questions his claims about genetic chronic disease? 
How can his channel still exist to this day, with his videos being monetized, after him making all this unsupported, without proof claims about his health and no one questions his legitimacy? I truly hope this person that lies to his ex-girlfriend and uses his audience for money gets taken down. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it and I hope you help me spread the word out. Good night.